Well, she's leaving the yard at my buddy's place. Uh, about to take it to the house. I didn't let it warm up too good. It's a little cold blooded. Turn signals are working. I tested the lights yesterday. Last night the headlights worked. Uh, it stops great. Pedal's a little soft, but it's very uh, got a lot of power assisted. It's really working hard. Uh, just had a little sputter. I don't know if it's the wiring or got a little arc in the in the wiring or something or it's like a little misfire or if it's a fuel I don't know but we'll soon find out I'm not taking it on the highway I'm just gonna take these little roads that lead back to my place yeah she's sputtering I need to adjust the carburetor. I just added to the floor for a little bit. Didn't do anything. But it needs a tune up, it looks like. Uh, carburetor adjustment, fuel system treatment, uh, stuff like that. But uh, the guy that had it, I don't believe he knew what he was doing. Kind of messed things up. But, uh, you know, that's nothing. I have my Datsun. I lent it to my son for two years. And uh, I gave it to him running. He brought it back on a trailer. I thought my engine was done. I said, man, this thing is running horrible. First of all, he couldn't get it to start. I got it to start. Uh, and I had it running within 30 minutes that I was there. Uh, idling and stuff just by messing with the carburetor by ear. But it needed something else. I mean, it was just, I think it was running on maybe two cylinders. I don't know if that's possible, but it's not a, you know, for a four cylinder. But anyways, uh, once I, I brought it to the house, um, did a tune up, carburetor adjustment, and that sucker, oil change. Uh, and that sucker's been running like a top, you know, since I got it back. I've had it for about a year now, and I work it. I work that truck every day. Little stumble, little sputter. Just floored it. Probably need to blow out the plugs. Blow this thing out. Carbon buildup or something. But uh, it runs smooth though, man. And it definitely doesn't have the power that little Dodson has. Uh, it's automatic and uh, you know the little Datsun don't have a lot of power but uh, it's got you know a decent amount for enough to pull it you know and the gear ratio is a lot different I got about uh, with the rear tire height it's like a 407 gear I don't know what the gear ratio on this it seems like a highway gear uh, and it's it's pretty underpowered the gear ratio it's probably a highway 270 gear, 275 or 73 out of it. But man, that brake works good. I mean, like you almost don't feel the pedal, it's so light. But it stops. It's, it's the power assist, I think. I don't think it's air in the line because the pedal don't start, go to the floor. It stays where it's at. But it's funny because I've already got a few uh, 
stares or gawks. Not so many thumbs ups, but there's just people kind of breaking their neck to look at it a little bit. <laughs> When the hell did he find that piece of crap? I showed it to the wife yesterday, and I, a typical person, I guess, that focuses on the on the things it needs, you know, instead of the possibilities, you know. Kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, but uh, I had ordered some stuff already for it. Ordered a uh, whole. The complete dash assembly uh, that includes a pad and it's in the same color I believe uh, also ordered the uh, cluster uh, bezel I guess you could call it that holds the radio in uh, the factory radio would go in there with the two knobs versus the uh, uh, din you know the single din radio uh, it needs a seat cover uh, seat covers tore up. Uh, the foam is starting to fall apart, but I've got some foam. I want to catch it before it really falls apart. Seat's fairly comfortable. It's got decent leg room. I'm 5'8". Uh, I'm not a really big person. Um, wife's got longer legs, though, but uh, she was able to drive it, and she thought it had power steering, and it doesn't. Because uh, uh, I guess the little tires are in the front. I believe they're 14s, maybe 15s, I don't know, but it turned really easy. Not worry about that because uh, she's got a bad shoulder and stuff. She's kind of, you know, she's got some issues, uh, physical issues, that uh, pain and stuff. So I was worried that this truck would be a, uh, you know, hard for her to steer, uh, steer or something. But it steers really nice. I'm cruising at 55. And it's real smooth. No rattles or shakes or we just running over some potholes here. With Louisiana roads. Uh, especially Shreveport and parts of Bozier are horrible, man. I'm it. It's going to need some windshield, windshield wipers. Uh, they're all dry rotted. Definitely a cleaning. The windshield's got either cat prints or uh, raccoon paw prints. I don't know what they are. I would say raccoon. Maybe possum because they sure look long. Her fingers are long. I'm about to hit 60 here. Going over 60 now. Hitting 65. Yeah, I'm doing 65 right now. My wife fell behind. This whole thing is cruising, man. The guy bought it from said it wouldn't do over 60. And I wasn't even flooring it. I'm just driving it. Seems like the more I drive it, the, the better it's getting. It cruises nice. I wish my Datsun and my Mustang cruise like this. For being such a short wheelbase, this thing rides nice. Real nice. I don't know if I'm going to try to maybe uh, put buckets, some bucket seats in this thing. I don't know. Well, there's really not enough room for them to recline and get in and out. These uh, bench seats are nice. I, I can see it. I can feel that it's going to be uncomfortable after a while. It feels like it's pushing me forward. It sits too straight. Um, I don't know if there's something that maybe the bottom foam is weak and it's causing it to, uh, causing me to sink in the seat.
So far I've been driving for about 10 minutes. Uh, and the temp is about 165, 170, something like that. It needs an oil change and I'm sure it needs a radiator flush. Special, but check this out, man. That uh, AutoZone special was uh, I think $79 and uh, I, or $69, I'm not sure, but I don't remember. But the core exchange was $40, uh, and with tax, it, it, they gave me back $43. Uh, so that was with tax, was about $79, I believe. So it's pretty good. So for 40 bucks, I got a remanufactured alternator. I'm catching a whiff of a smell. I don't know if it's a car in front of me or this truck. gonna run that light no 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 there's a cobra it's pretty nice GT 500 yeah boy get on it big yeah I drove uh, that body style one of my uh, I think it was a tan my uh, captain, when I was in the military, he bought one. He didn't keep it very long, though, but he bought one, and he let me drive it. And I went through about second, first, second, and third smoking the tires before I got off of it. 
And believe me, it didn't take very much to get it going like that. But yeah, it's just truck, a little smell coming out of the exhaust is sputtering here at uh, the light. So it definitely is going to need a little bit of TLC. Uh, I got to check, make sure the oil is good and definitely do a tune up. Just the carburetor. It's not smoking though. I mean, it's not, exhaust is fine. It doesn't smell or anything. It could just be burning some uh, raccoon poop or something. I don't know. It is a funny smell though. I've not smelled that before. residential into my neighborhood. Push my luck enough without plates. It's got insurance, but it's the other guy's insurance and still I haven't put the title in my name or my wife's name yet. So, uh, This truck might be too small for my wife, to tell you the truth. Uh, when I met her, she had a Chevy pickup, full-size pickup. When we got married, I gave her uh, my uh, 2001 Lincoln LS. And she's still driving that, 13 years later. Uh, we got rid of her truck been on my butt about it ever since it seems like yeah she likes to do the same things I do like to antique or you know just we're kind of like pickers I guess you know flea marketers and garage sales and stuff so she messes her pickup when it comes to stuff that she likes to you know buy to resell or what but this has got a bed on it and it's a short bed but it, it's enough to do something something you know good thing is that she won't be able to bring back something too big <laughs> just like me but my, the stuff that I like is usually not very big but it sure is heavy like an engine or a transmission or rear end something like that but uh and I swear this thing has got power steering this thing is so easy to turn especially when it rolls a little bit oh my it, it's so easy to turn the gearing I guess of the gearbox so uh, Part of the steering gearbox is really good. It's really doing the work of uh, the manual setup. I mean, I almost forgot it didn't have power steering. My Datsun, you feel it, man. I also need to replace the, the steering gearbox on it, too. I've got a new one, I just haven't done it. Or remanufactured. That sucker cost me like 400 bucks has a hundred dollar core return and I haven't done it so shoot it's been about three or four months since I bought that thing I don't know if I can get my core back deposit back all right man pulling up to the house she made it uh, no real scary moments here nothing like that 
pull around the side of the house, my freaking neighbors are going to kill me. Especially my nosy neighbor. I have a nosy neighbor, man. That sucker, every time I freaking fart, he wants to smell. He wants to know what's going on. Clean her out, wash her up. Yeah, she did good, man. She did really good. Uh, you can see my Fairmonts on two station wagons back there. Yep. One of those is going to be parts. The one under the cover is going to be fixed up. Going to be a little street strip model set up. And that's the next project. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.